Hello guys and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a classic eye rig in Blender. So this is one I've covered before in the past but I thought I'd do another updated video on it. And essentially it's this really simple rig that you can add to any character where it would be parented to your head bone. And it's essentially just a main eye control that makes your eyes follow along. And if you wanted to you can grab these individual little look at controls and control them as well and then go back to the main control. So it's a very simple, very easy beginner friendly rig, but it has a lot of control. So if you have a character laying around or just a pair of eyes or just a pair of spheres that you wanna use, you can follow along with this and it'll be a very handy uh, little rigging exercise and you'll learn a thing or two about rigging, especially if you don't know a lot of things about rigging yet in Blender. So let's jump in and I hope you guys enjoy. So first of all, you're going to want to make sure you have a pair of eyes. Just two spheres will do with some textures on them. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm assuming you also might have a character and you just want to learn how to specifically rig the eyes. So let's assume then that there'll be a head bone in this rig. So we're going to go ahead, first of all, and go Shift A. I want to go to our armature options. We're going to add in a single bone. Okay, so in if you were actually making this and you had a character, you'd be inside of your rig system and you'd actually then be adding in the eye bones as we go from here but because I'm just doing this as an eye rig I'll just for now add in a bone and I'm going to tab in to edit mode with this bone active and this is in the middle of the eyes here and we're going to just go G Z and if you have a pair of eyes and you're following along we're just going to scale it up and let's just take this and let's call that the head bone so what we're going to do we're going to press F2 and we're going to call that head so that'll be the head bone and then what we want to do is we're only going to work on one side and because this is a symmetrical setup here um, it'll work on both um, sides if we mirror it over so let's just take this one in our front view we're going to go shift d to duplicate let's move it over to the left side now it might be your right but remember it's the left side of the character so that's what we're going to be thinking of in terms of left and right and now what we're going to do we're going to press z and go into wireframe and we want to take this and place it roughly in the middle of the eye from the front and then we're going to go into the right view and in fact this is for now rotate it like this and you can either just rotate it by 90 degrees but what I prefer to do is in the right orthographic view just roughly turn it 90 degrees with the pointy end facing forward and then going S Z zero and pressing enter now it's nice and flat we're going to go G and move it down and let's place it so it's right in the middle of the eye here from this side and then from this side, we can see it's in the middle as well. So that's more or less right. And we're gonna take this little knob here, we're gonna go G, Y, and move it back like so. So now we have the eye bone that the eye is gonna be um, parented to. And let's select that bone and then press F2, and let's just call it I, and then a dot capital L. Now the dot capital L is really important because it's gonna allow us to mirror it over later. So let's press enter. So now that's I dot capital L. And what we're going to do with this bone active, we're going to hold in shift and select our head. We're going to go control P, then we're going to go keep offset. So now this is parented to the head bone. So what we're going to do now, we're going to select this eye bone. We're going to go shift D, Y, and move it forward. And let's grab this front nub and just take it on the Y back a little bit so it's a bit smaller. And then we're going to take this one here, and we're going to press F2. We're going to go I, and then we're going to go underscore. We're going to go look at and then we're going to go dot capital L so it's going to be I underscore look at dot capital L now the main thing here is that you have to dot capital L and that is going to help us mirror over once again so let's now go into our object mode and we're going to set up a simple constraint here we're going to first of all select this bone over here that could look at bone and holding in shift we're going to select the bone that we wanted to control which is this one here we're then going to go Control shift c or Command shift c and then you're going to go to Damped Track. So now if we select this bone over here and we, hold, we press G to move it in our Pose Mode, you can see here now that bone looks at it. And you're going to see why that's handy in a while, but for now let's just go back into Edit Mode. And then what we're going to do, we're going to select these two bones and then we're going to go to Armature and we're going to go Symmetrize. And now you can see it's symmetrized it over. And if you select these bones here on this side, you can actually see if you go over here to your bone properties that it's automatically added the extension dot capital R for both of these automatically because we did these ones as dot capital L, which is really important. But we're going to take these two now because we don't want to necessarily every time select them both. 
when we're animating. So we're going to select these two look at bones. Then we're going to press Shift S and we're going to go cursor to selected. So it'll add the cursor right in the center of these two. Then we're going to go Shift A to add in a new bone and let's select this bone and let's go F2 and let's call that main I and then CON for control. And then we're going to just grab the top nub over here, bring it down a little bit. Now we can select these two main locats and holding in shift, we're going to select this middle bone, control P and let's go object, keep transform. So now if we go into pose mode, instead of having to select both of these bones every time and move them, we can now select this main control and those eyes will look. And we can even stop it somewhere and then select an individual eye if we want to control it that way. But for now, I'm just going to press A, Alt G, Alt R just to reset those. And let's go back into edit mode. And now what we're going to do, we're going to take this main eye control, holding and shift, let's select the head bone here, then go control P and then go keep offset. So now this is parented to the head bone. So let's just go back into pose mode. So if this was your character, this would be your head bone here that you can control. And then anytime you wanted to, you say, for example, you rotate your head, you can come in here and then rotate your eyes, right? But obviously you're seeing now that the eyes are not moving along with it. So what we're going to do is go back into object mode. And then you can see I've got two eyes here. They're both separate objects. That's important. So you're going to select the first one and then holding in shift, you're going to select the rig. Let's go into pose mode and then select the eye that's related to that. In this case, it's the left control P and let's give that bone. So we're going to go with bone over here. So it's a direct parent to the bone. Let's go back into object mode, select the second eye. This is the right one. We're going to hold in shift, select the rig again. Let's go into pose mode and let's select the right bone here. Control P and let's go bone. So now if we select this main control, we go G, you can see the eyes are following along. How cool is that? And you can grab the head bone, everything will go along. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little uh, rigging exercise on learning how to rig an eye. This is a simple but classic kind of eye rig and you can apply it to many different things as well. So I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.